What's up, YouTube? Big Boss Burns here. I wanted to let y'all know that we all wake up the same way. All of us wake up the same way. Might not wake up in the same place, but we wake up the same way. Just as well as I put one leg in the pants at the same time, you know, y'all do it too. But we wake up the same way. Now what you choose to do when you wake up, total different story. I think that's the difference between hustlers and busters. That's the difference. But we wake up, we wake up the same way. Good thing about God, if you woke up this morning, he allowed you to. But what I'm concerned about is that I've been noticing that everybody don't receive information the same way. They don't receive the information the same way. And that right there could be the difference between where you're going, what you can achieve, and what you're not capable of achieving. I said it from the beginning that my um, my channel is not for everybody. It's for certain people. Everybody's not gonna understand my philosophy, what I'm saying. Everybody's not gonna understand that. But they try to keep up. I'm in my bathroom. It's a fireplace in my bathroom. See that? Yeah. But for some of y'all, people could tell you what you can and what you cannot do. If they tell you you can do it, then you do it. If they tell you you can't do it, then you don't feel like you could do it. So you don't do it. I've always looked at life a different type of way. Um, everybody told me what I couldn't do became encouragement. I wind up doing it. And what they told me I can do, I found out that I could do more. So in school, I um, majored in psychology and theology. And there's this thing that's called reverse, it's called reverse psychology. Basically, what it is, if you're trying to get the price of something at what you want it to be, you raise it up, like hypothetically, if I want to sell a $200 car and $200 is what I want. If I raise it up to five, then you'll think that you're getting a deal when we come to terms at 200. Y'all, y'all follow me. It works all the time. Um, 
if I tell you that I want a lot done and it's really a little to get the little done I got to feed to you a lot so in reverse psychology what it is and, and people have played this game on us for years in reverse psychology are you ready sir what oh it's over here in the garden section um so in reverse psychology what happens is is that if a person tell some of y'all that y'all losers you might become a winner and if they tell you that you're a winner some of y'all might get lazy and become losers now society has fed to us for years generations and generations that Jesus was white we figured out that he was black I'm finna get in some trouble y'all mm -hmm. We even went so deep to figuring out that he was black that we pinpointed the origin, the area that he was from. And some of us are smart enough to say he couldn't have been Caucasian. But that's not the subject. The subject is, it took them to tell us something for us to figure out or to study behind what they said to come to a level of truth. So, what I'm trying to say is, maybe I'm being too upfront with y'all about this trucking industry. So I'm gonna reverse it. Yeah, I'm gonna reverse it. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna reverse it. You know, bad is good and good is bad. If I tell you something bad, it's good. But if I tell you something good, you take it as bad. Because when I tell you about the trucking business being good, multi-billion operation, a lot of y'all thinking it's bad. If I tell you there's dedicated lanes in your city, most of y'all say, no, it's not. If I tell you that I made so many thousands in a year, some of y'all say it's impossible. I told you that a 16 footer is just as great as a 26 footer. A van is just as great as a 16 footer. Y'all say, I got one and it's not working. So if I if I reverse it, I wonder, would you get the point then? I wonder, would my views go up? I wonder, would you press like then? <laughs> I gotta talk back? just to make you look at the good? Because I'm talking too good. And some of you monkeys still thinking it's bad. I'm gonna I'm a reverse it. I'm gonna reverse it. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna reverse it. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna reverse it. Imagine this. 
Give me the wrench. Hold on, man. I gotta find it. Here you go. Give me the give me that wrench. Which give one? Me, man, give me the wrench, I man. Can't. Here you go, man. Babe, they calling you for another route. Hey, they she said they call you for another route, man. Man, I hate this trucking business. Another route? Man, y'all crazy. They don't even pay enough. It's a horrible business. Huh. <laughs> I did it. I, I, did. I told that dude Cody. I'm not coming to this job. Cody. No. Yeah. You know the toilet stop back up again, right? And while you out here laughing and talking, when you gonna get them lights turned back on? But I told you when I get my next check. I'ma get them all. You know we don't make but a little bit being in the trucking business. Dang. Man, I hate this business, man. Dang. I hate it. Hmm. What's up, Clay? Let me get 50 cents, huh? I drive trucks. I'm on truck job. I hate this business. Hey, babe, I'm telling them something bad. It's working. Because they're going to think it's good. Hmm. Get them, Cody. You need to stop driving, man. Leave me alone. Hey, man, you can't do that in front of us, though, man. Come on, man. You need to stop driving. Come on. If the trucking business got me like this, I hate that truck in bed. <laughs> I hate it. Don't go in it, y'all. I hate it. <laughs> Cody, are you almost done fixing on this junk? Cause another route calling you again. You need to just quit this job. I'm tired of this. I hate this business. Big Boss Burns here, y'all. Like, comment, and subscribe. And tell me, did it work? <laughs>